I'm going to show you how to install Android Marshmallow 6.1 on the LG G2. This will work on all variants. You are going to need four files. I will show you how to get those files and the download links are below. So the first one you're going to need is the CyanogenMod ROM. You are going to choose your device model. So mine is the 801. So I'm going to click on the first one. It is a nightly. It's CM13.0 and then it's the date. So for example, if you do have a different model of the LG G2, you're going to scroll down to the LG and you're, and you're going to find whichever one that you have. So if you have AT&T, Sprint, Verizon, International, whatever you have, just click on that and then just download the file. You're just going to go ahead and click on it and then it should download automatically. The next one you're going to need is Twerp. You are going to update whatever Twerp you have. So you're just, I'm going to send you to this link right here and you're going to click on the 2.8.7.3 and also I didn't mention that you can download this via your phone so you don't even need a computer to do this I'm just doing it for video purposes so once you have the twerp 2.8.7.3 you're going to click on the model you are so whatever model your phone is you're going to download that so mine is the pcloud so you're going to click on the pcloud and whatever model and then once that loads up, you're going to click on the download up here, the, this button right here, and it will download for you right here. So the next thing you're going to need is your G apps. And that is your Chrome, your Gmail, your Google Play Store apps. So you are specifically going to need the ARM. So click on the ARM. You are going to need Android 6.0. And here you have two options. You can go with the micro or with the mini. Whatever whichever one you want this is the most popular one and the micro is just has limited set of Google Apps so I'm gonna go with the mini so once you have the ARM 6.0 and the mini or the micro whichever one you choose of these two you're gonna click on the download once that loads it will download down here automatically so you have that downloaded the next thing you need is your boot stacks you are gonna need these for your phone to work and boot so I'm going to send you to this link which shows all the models that are available. For instance, I have the D801. I'm going to click on the D801. I'm going to click on the boot stacks. And then it says this file has been truncated, but you can view the file. So I'm going to click on view the file. And then I'm going to give it a few seconds to load. And there it is. It is downloaded. So once you have those downloaded, since I'm doing this on my Mac computer, this will also work on on a Windows machine, on the Windows you just plug in your phone and just transfer them. The Mac, if you have an Android, you have to download the Android file transfer. So you just click on Android file transfer on Google and you search it up, it should come up. As you can see, I have it right here. I'm gonna go ahead and open that. Okay, and it looks like all four files have finished downloading. So I'm gonna minimize that. Actually, I'm gonna transfer these to my, uh, my desktop. So I'm gonna transfer that one. And all four of them so you should have all four of your zip files you do not need to unzip them okay the next thing you want to do is create a new folder I'm gonna name it LG 6.1 marshmallow I'm gonna transfer all four of these files okay now I'm gonna get my Android phone and I'm gonna connect it via the USB it is now connected as you can see it cannot access storage because I have to set it up on my phone so I'm gonna go ahead and set that up Okay, once that loaded, it should come up like this. You do want to put it down in your download in your download folder. So find your download folder. You're gonna click on that, and you're gonna click on your LG 6.1, and then it should just it should all transfer to your phone. Okay, once all these files are transferred, you want to boot up. You want to actually want to turn on your phone, and you want to boot to recovery. I will have instruction on how to do that. So. Once this finishes up, I'll show you how to do that. Okay, it is now transferred to my phone. So, as you can see, it's right here. It is now transferred to my phone, so I'm going to show you my phone. Alright, the next thing you want to do is go into your recovery. I'm going to allow that, and I'm going to show you how to install the files.
Okay, team, team one recovery has booted up. So the first thing you wanna do is wipe your phone, everything except your internal storage. So if you go to wipe, you wanna click on advanced wipe, and you wanna check Dalvik, system, data, and cache. Just those four. You do not wanna delete internal storage. Since I already done this, I didn't, I'm not gonna do it. The next thing you wanna do is go to your install. Once you finish that, you wanna to go to install, and you want to hit on the, your on the twerp recovery update so I'm gonna to go to the downloads folder and there's all the files I I saved so you want to hit the twerp 2.8.7.3 and then install that once that is finished installing you want to go back to reboot and you want to click on reboot recovery once you're back on the reboot recovery you want to install your your uh, boot stacks. So first you you install boot stacks. The same thing. Just click on it, install it, and then you want to reboot into recovery. The next thing you want to do is go to install. You want to click on CM13. You want to add more zips, and you want to add the gaps for your Google Apps. Once you're all done, it should finish. It should finish up, and you just want to hit reboot system. Okay, there you go. You get the little Cyanogen mod icon. Since I already have this installed on my phone, the first thing you get is the Cyanogen mod uh, setup screen. So just go ahead and set that up. Also make sure you have the right APNs, so your photos and phones and internet and messaging and all that will work. Okay, now it says Android is starting. As you can see on Cyanogen mod. I'm gonna go to my settings, scroll down to about phone. As you can see, it's Android 6.0.1. And also, you get the new emojis on this, so that's how you install CyanogenMod 6.0.1 on your Android LG G2 device.